What is up everybody, it's Dante Walton here. Today we're going to check out the Korra Showcase for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. But before we get into the reaction, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more content coming soon. Yeah, so they finally announced Aang and Korra. Like, again, it's like one of the worst kept secrets about the game. I wonder when they're going to announce the other character that people already know. Uh, I don't know, the game's going to come out soon, so that's announced it pretty soon. But let's check out Korra Showcase. We already saw Aang's Showcase. He didn't really have a... Uh, he mostly focused on airbending stuff, so I'm curious to see if Korra will incorporate the other types of like bending, like fire, earth, and water bending. I'm guessing that she probably will, but yeah. And to see more of her stage, I think we have seen it before. Uh, but I'm sure they're going to go into all those details, so let's check it out. Hello everybody, my name is Diego Hernandez oh, yeah, we did the see the stage. Also Brawl development team. And today, I'll showcase the moveset of the hot-headed hero of Republic City, Korra. Korra likes to fight up close with powerful kicks and punches that can send her opponents flying away. If yeah, I'm already seeing the different types of bending and already. All of her specials can be charged to deal devastating mm, damage. Charge. You simply don't mess with the avatar. This stage Let's is really cool. Oh, this is like Final Destination, I think. Korra's light attacks. <laughs> Korra's light neutral is forward jab. All of Korra's grounded light attacks can be chained into another variation of the same light attack if you connect it twice with the opponent. Her light up is uppercut. Okay. And her light down is slamming fist. Moving on to Korra's air light attacks. Korra's light neutral air is full knee spin. Her light up air is backflip kick. There's a lot going on in the background of this stage. It's really cool. And her light down air <laughs> is double slamming fists. Korra's light dash attack is air handstand. That's cool. But nothing combines martial arts and elemental bending quite like Korra's strong attacks. Korra's strong neutral is strong punch. All of Korra's strong attacks have a weaker and stronger variation depending on whether the button is tapped or held. Mm, okay. With the stronger variations, an elemental effect Ooh. will show somewhere in the attack. Nice. And the knockback will be slightly bigger. Her strong up is power uppercut. So that one uses earth. Okay. The neutral one had and water. Her strong down is axe kick. Fire. Nice. Let's move now to Korra's air strong Ooh, attacks. that's definitely gonna spike. That's kinda like uh, Ganondorf's down. Down smash. Korra's I mean, down air. strong neutral air is roundhouse kick. Yeah. Her strong up air is upward kick. And her down air is Aerial stump. <laughs> nice. Korra's strong dash is tornado Ooh. charge. We'll now experience the sheer power of the avatar with Korra's special. Whoa, what was that? Was that the up special? Whoa. Korra's neutral special is bending leap. This bending is Korra's leap. finisher move. She leaps and then throws a sweeping punch. Oh, nice. It up for increased power yeah, look at her face. It gets like all rocky. Her up special is Avatar Soar. That was an up special. She strikes with her fist while moving upwards. She has a way better uppercut Charge special up than Little Mac. Power and flight <laughs> distance. And her down special is Landslide. Landslide. She slides along the ground, hitting opponents. Hold the special to keep Whoa, sliding. Whoa, that looks really cool. 
In a way, it's similar to Aang's down special. Well, in the air, she performs a fiery kick while moving diagonally. Hmm, interesting. And finally, Korra taunts you to keep up with the fight. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, come on. Cora stage is harmonic convergence. This, this is really cool. This is a medium-sized stage with no platforms. So it is like Final Destination. The Raba and the two are fighting I haven't seen that much of Legend of Korra, to be honest. So I don't really don't know where this but is from, but it looks awesome. About it very much. It's really cool. And now, let's learn from the Avatar how to properly dispatch enemies in a real match. Get ready. Three, oh, that's a cool two, one, uh, entry animation. <laughs> yeah, I'm really digging Korra a lot. I think, like, I'm more interested in her than Aang, like, moveset wise. Not just because she uses more of the different elements and all that, but I don't know, just the fact, just like her up close and personal brawler type style and all that. Like, her moves seem like they really pack a punch, you know? And the fact that you can, like, charge them up for, like, the elemental version that does, like, more knockback and stuff is really cool, too. And, yeah, that spike with the down aerial. Man. Yeah. It doesn't help that she has one of the cooler-looking cooler stages, for sure. Nice. <laughs> That's Cora. All right, Thank you she looks so really much cool. For tuning into this character showcase, and please look forward to more like this in the future. All right, I want to know what do you guys think about Cora? Let me know down below. What do you think about Cora's move set, and what do you think about the harmonic convergence stage? I'm really curious to see what you think, and which are you preferring right now? Just based on what we've seen in these showcases, are you leaning more towards Aang or leaning more towards Cora? Really curious what you think, because I'm leaning more towards Korra right now, but, you know, things definitely could change, like, once we get that game in our hands and try it out for ourselves. But I'm really curious to see what you guys think.